Yes. We're, uh, we're at Papa. This will be our equipment room right here. So what we'll do is, I'm just gonna set offense over in this section and maybe a little bit over here. And then defense in the far, just to keep offense close to coach. So he, as soon as he gets out, he can talk to him. Uh, I was a freshman when Grooms was a GA at, at Marshall. And that was just for like half the season. And then he got a call of it at Air Force and went out there. So I only worked with him for a little while. I didn't really know him. But I uh, got to know him over the years at conventions and such. He's, he treats me well. Great boss. Make sure you put that on the video. Okay. We uh, brought these, we started at Minnesota. Yeah? Yeah, we fit, uh, I think it's 30 helmets in each one. We have four of them, so 120. Obviously, there's not that many on a team usually, but uh, each, instead of putting the helmets in player bags, having them packed and where they get beat up, we know that they're going to be okay in here and not going to get paint chipped or scratched. Tired of the helmets getting beat around and everything, and so we came up with this, and uh, we got a Olympic case to actually make these for us, and then line it with soft, uh, almost like velvet kind of some material. And uh, all the empty spaces that nobody uses, like uh, 117, we put extra backup helmets in to bring just in case. I always give Coach Kelly, like, I'll give him these two. Longo always goes next to him. It's very small, so it's not as bad as Michigan State. Michigan State would be a one or a two. Purdue right now would be like a four or five. Just because they're, uh, the players all get lockers, so that's a big plus. But this is definitely a small coach's locker room. I mean, even Michigan was small. So Frank, we usually have a uh, table for all the snacks, a fridge that we keep uh, stocked with everything for these guys. Drawers full of coffee and snacks. It's somewhat healthy. Beef jerky. Uh, down here we can put all the gum, all the different gum and seeds. Microwave if you need a heating thing, like the mac and cheese. Want somewhat of a meal. Kicker for some music, which I'll probably take out and go play for these guys so they have something. And then uh, most important, the coffee, the Keurig, the K cups. That's the biggest thing I have for a head coach when he comes in here. Just they always want some coffee usually. But this thing is awesome. Trunks, a while back, all the hanging stuff went straight in and then you pulled the hanging rack out. Here we just have a, a hanging bar right across so you can uh, hang them up with a cargo net. And the cargo net's there for after the game because with, this will all come out. And we'll close this up. And we'll put it right out here, and the coaches can just throw all their dirty laundry right in this trap door. And then we just close it when we're done. Then put the shoes, all the clothes, everything. Close it, and then put it right back on the truck. Our good man over in uh, Stadium Facilities, Chuck Dietz, 
he actually welded the, the rack that you actually put the shoulder pads on to the dolly because uh, it's just a lot easier to travel the shoulder pads instead of obviously packing the players' bags each and individually. It's, a, it's just a hassle. So we can travel uh, all four for home games and three for away, and they all fit on there. They got the backups on there right now. So that's Prince Shimbos. He puts all his gloves, his leg pads, his mouthpiece, his ankle braces, anything he wants to travel, he'll put in there. So we'll put those in each guy's locker, and after the game, they'll, they'll put it back in, and they'll throw it back in the bin. And then we'll ozone them and wash anything they need, replace the gloves each week. Uh, yesterday, you already saw that the helmet and the shoulder pads and the green bags were uh, in here. Uh, today, they passed out the jerseys, put them on the shoulder pads. This is, the students did this. Uh, put out the pants, uh, their game loop with everything that they wear. The girdles they wear, the specific ones, uh, pre-game shorts and shirt. It's Velcro on the uh, shoulder right there, okay. and that's to help keep the jersey from coming up and from the actual shoulder from flipping up. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a little pocket underneath that you tuck under, so no shoulder pad showing, basically for looks on TV on that part. But uh, there's no tape on Mike. Because uh, he doesn't need it, it's the jersey's tight enough where nobody can grab him. Uh, o line, D line, and our uh, outside linebackers, they all get taped just so the O linemen can't grab onto their jerseys as they go by. But uh, that's basically the, we put them on for the guys. These are actually surprisingly very easy to put on the guys when, you, uh, when they come and get dressed. You think it'd be really hard, but it's not. I, Ryan might have something different. But when we were at Marshall together, back with uh, Rich Warner, he was the head guy. He's still the head guy there. We always put two pieces of double bubble out for each player, and we've always continued this. Uh, I don't know if he did it at Air Force, but we did it at Minnesota. We did it here. They still do it at Marshall, and we'll just always put two pieces for each guy, just because I guess it calmed the nerves and chew some gum, I guess. Game days, all the kids and Ryan are supervising them when they're setting up the player lockers. Uh, I'll usually come in here and set up the coaches. So when I come in here, I always put the pants and the polo together, and they usually face the door, just like the helmets always face the door with the belt. And then on the left, I'll put whatever kind of jacket they're going to wear. This week, they're going to wear this sweatshirt pin dot. Up top, I've got uh, cold weather sleeves, a cotton mock, an undershirt, underwear, and whatever hat they actually wear. If they don't wear a hat, I don't put one. Uh, Coach Kelly always has uh, his red, black uh, Sharpies for making changes on his play call. A pen, I'll put whistles in there if they need it. The shoes underneath with uh, that sock we're gonna wear this week. Uh, so this is all you guys, did. it's not like Coach Kelly says we're gonna wear. No, he comes to us and goes, what am I wearing? So we tell him and he's cool with that. Good to go? Yeah.